My name is Damien Leith, and um, yeah, how's it going? <laughs> All right, the first uh, piece of music that I physically went out and bought uh, was an album of Michael Jackson, Bad. Um, and I think I was 12 when it went, gee, it just goes to show how old that album is. Um, yeah, so Bad, Michael Jackson. Um, I wasn't a massive Michael Jackson fan, but I think peer pressure led me in that direction. <laughs> I still have it, by the way. <laughs> the first gig that I ever went to was Def Leppard. Um, yeah, I know there's people cringing right now. Um, Def Leppard, uh, Hysteria. So there you go. Um, great concert, by the way, actually. I, um, you know, Def Leppard are one of those sort of bands, but um, great gig, great gig. I dived for the drumstick when it was thrown out, uh, and I didn't get it. So, <laughs> all right, my last purchase. Um, I bought two albums on the same day. Uh, one was James Morrison's Undiscovered, and uh, I got that because I just thought, I, I saw him at the Logies, and I said, I kept saying to myself, I have to get his album, I have to get his album, so eventually I bought it, and it's a great album, it's a very, very good album, it's got some really cool little hooks and things like that, um, and I got Crowded House's new album as well, so uh, that's my most, most recent purchase, I'm a massive Crowded House fan, so I had to go out there and get it, um, and it's a good album, you know, it's... Um, I think they have better stuff in in their in their catalog, uh, but uh, but I'm a massive fan, so I'll uh, I'll follow them, and Neil Finn and Tim Finn, as long as they keep writing songs. So um, yeah. The last gig, well there you go. The last gig is linked to the, my uh, last album. I saw Tim and Neil Finn at the Opera House, and I was four rows from the front, so I had a nice close up. Um, uh, view and it was just a brilliant gig, absolutely brilliant, very casual, very relaxed, um, same sort of kind of gig I, I like to do myself, so that, that sort of, you almost feel like he's just singing to just you, um, and it was that sort of gig, it was very, the guys just seemed like the the room could have had a hundred people, but in, instead it had thousands and thousands, and um, yeah, fantastic, so. Favorite piece of music is a difficult one because I, I love all styles and I love all sorts of genres and the whole thing. It's so hard. There's there's one album I, I still play to this day whenever I get a chance and I always try and make sure I have a copy and it's um, Radiohead The Bends. Um, it's a brilliant album. And it's one of those sort of ones that always brings me back uh, to great times, you know, that whole era of music when when the bands came out and you had all these other cool bands that were roaming around then, uh, Pearl Jam, Ten and all those, because it would have been around the same time and, uh, uh, you know, even Jeff Buckley, Grace wouldn't have been far off that, that time either, so um, a lot of really cool bands, but um, yeah, Radiohead, the bands. I tell you, the, the gig I remember more than anything else, not because of great music, not because of anything, was um, Green Day. Uh, it was an open-air gig back in Ireland, and uh, it was about six years ago, and uh, it rained heavily. And in Ireland, rain and grass are a terrible combination. It turned into a mud, mud fest. And um, I was with my brother. We walked across a certain clearing. And we were saying, gee, this is very weird. There's a big clearing here. And then we got the first whack of a mud ball in the face, and uh, a huge mud fight started. And um, yeah, and we got totally involved in it and had a great time, you know, throwing mud balls at everybody and burying people's faces in the mud. It was terrible. But uh, uh, the guys from Green Day stopped playing the music and said, what the hell is going on out there? You, know, you guys need to calm down. Um, it was like a riot, but everybody was having a great time. It really was. It was great fun. So, um, yeah, so that Green Day concert is, I'm going to say that that is my most memorable. All right. My f preferred duet would be uh, one of two songs, firstly, uh, Fairy Tale of New York, which was originally a Pogues number, and it's a real cool, rowdy number, uh, which anyone from Ireland knows, but it's, you know, it's getting around the world. Um, that or Nothing Compares to You, um, uh, the Prince version, uh, and who I'd like to do it with is uh, Dolores O'Riordan from the Cranberries. Um, you know, because, uh, well, first of all, Fairy Tale of New York, she's got the voice that would really do that. And I think, you know, we're uh, definitely not, not the Irish connection. She's got just such a very distinct voice. Um, I, I think it would be interesting just hearing the two of us playing together. So, um, yeah, Dolores O'Riordan, Fairy Tale of New York, or 
nothing compares to you. So there you go.